Yeah, welcome to my channel. In today's class, we are asked to solve 25 raised power of minus 1 over 2 times 27 raised power of 1 over 3. You are adding it to 121 raised power of minus 1 over 2 times 625 raised to the power of minus 1 over 4. So this is coming under indices. And like I always said, if you are my follower, I'll always advise whenever you are faced with any question from indices, the first thing you should do is to ensure that you put all these numbers in the same base if possible. Okay? Put them in the same base if possible. Or if they are not possible, you also look at it and see if you can put them in a smaller base. For example, 25 can be written as 5 raised to the power of 2. So when you do that, you need to see if it's affecting anything. Do you understand? Let's just go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and do this. So this is solution. Solution. All right, we have 25 raised to the power of minus half times 27 raised to the power of 1 over 3 plus what? 121 raised to the power of minus half times 6 to 5 raised to the power of minus 1 over 4. So what do we do first? Let me reduce each of them to their lowest base if possible. So 25 is the same thing as 5 raised to the power of 2, right? 5 raised to the power of 2, which is the same thing as 5 times 5. Okay? So let's go ahead and replace 25 with what? 5 raised to the power of 2. So I'll now write this as 5 raised to the power of 2. Remember that it's already raised to the power of minus 1 over 2. Okay? Times. Now 27 can be reduced to 3 raised to the power of 3. 3 raised to the power of 3. So I'll now write 3 raised to the power of 3. Remember that we have what? 1 over 3 there already. Okay, plus. Now, 121 is the same thing as 11 squared. Because 11 times 11, which is the same thing as 11 squared, we give you 121. Okay? So I'm going to replace this 121 now with 11 squared. So this is what I'm going to write now. Plus what? 11 raised to the power of 2. Everything raised to the power of 1 over 2. Okay? Times. Now, 6 to 5 is 5 raised to the power of what? That's what I want to find out. So, let's find out 5 raised to the power of what will give you 6 to 5. So, if you are faced with something big, a bigger number, how this is how to find out what you are going to do. 5 raised to the power of what? Yes, I know the answer is 5 raised to the power of 4. But let's do that and see how we are going to get that 5 raised to the power of 4. But before that, if this, if this is the first time you're coming across my channel, please, I would like you to subscribe to the channel, okay? And also on your notification bell. The reason is this, I won't like to miss you in my next video. Since you have followed me to this level, it means that you actually enjoy what I'm doing. So please hit the subscription button and on your notification bell, okay? Thank you very much. Now, 6 to 5, let's derive it. We have 2, 6, 5. 5 can go, right? 5 divide 6. You are going to have 1, 1, remainder 1. 1, 1, remainder 1. Divide 12. You are going to have 2, 2, remainder 2. Divide 25. You are going to have 5. Okay? Now, 5 divides 12. You will have 2, 2, remainder 2. Divide 25. You will have 5. 5 divide 25. You will have 5. 5 divide 5. You will have 1. So you can see 1, 2, 3, 4. So it means that 5 raised to the power of 4. Is sent in as 6 to 5. Okay. So remember, it's already raised to the power of minus 1 over 4. So we have reduced them to the lowest base possible. Now let's go ahead and solve. Notice that in indices, there's this law that states that x raised to the power of a. And this x raised to the power of a is raised to another power, say b. That this is sent in as x raised to the power of a times b which is equal to x raised to the power of a, b. Do you understand? So what it does, that mean? It means that when you have a number raised to a power, and that power, and the number is also raised to another power, just multiply the powers together, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. So notice that we are going to have 5 raised to the power of 2 times minus 1 over 2. That means 2 will divide itself, 1 divide this to give you another 1. So you are now left with what? 5 raised to the power of minus 1. Do you understand? 
That means you are multiplying these two together. I just like saying two times what? Minus one over two. You know, this sentence has two over one. So two divide itself one, divide itself one. You are left with what? Minus one. So that is why I have five raised power of minus one. Okay. Times, you have three. The same thing will happen in three. So three divide itself one, divide itself one. So you are left with three raised the power of one. Okay. Plus, you have 11. Two we cancel two. You are left with minus one as usual. So you have 11 raised power of minus one times four we cancel four. You are left with another minus one. Five raised power of what? Minus one. Now let us continue. You know that five raised power of minus one is same thing as one over five. That is, if you want to remove the negative sign, you write it as one over. That negative sign disappears. So you are going to have one over five times what? Three. Three raised power of one is same thing as three. So you can say three over one because three over one is still three. Okay? Plus, we are moving. 11 raised power of minus one, just like we did to five raised power of minus one, is same thing as one over 11. Times five raised power of minus one is same thing as one over five. So this is what we have cooking. Let's see the result of our cooking, okay? <laughs> All right. Now we have, this is what we have. One over five times three over one plus one over 11 times one over five. So if you walk this, you are going to have three times one. You have three over five, right? Three times one gave us three. Five times one gave us five. Plus one times one will give us one over. Eleven times five will give us 55. So you notice that we have two numbers that we are adding, two fractions that we are adding together. So you now add together. The LCM of five and 55 is what? 55. Yes. The LCM of 5 and 55 will give you 55. For those of you that don't know how to get LCM, let me show you how to do that. Let me show you how to do that. So we have 5 and what? 55. All you need to do is, what is the lowest number that can divide any of them? Is 5, right? So 5, we divide 5 to give you 1. Divide 55, you have 11. Now, what is another number that can divide any of these numbers? Is 11. 11 divide 1, you bring down your 1. If you divide 11, is 1. Once you have 1, 1, you are true. You now multiply whatever you have at this side to get your LCM. So it means that our LCM here is 5 times 11, which is what? 55. Okay? So that's why I said the LCM of 5 and 55 is what? 55. Okay. Now, 5 divides 55. You are going to have 11. 11 times 3 will give you what? 33. Plus 55 divides 55. You are going to have 1. 1 times 1 will give you 1. So this gives us our answer as what? 34 over 55. Thank you so much for watching. And I wish and hope to see you next time. All right. Bye.